Hello, this is Kids Invent Stuff. My name is Ruth. And I'm Sean. And we bring to life kids' invention ideas here on this channel. And today our video is a little bit different. It's Jimmy B! Cute music! I'm the J to the I to the double M Wow. Hey, I challenge Kids Invent Stuff to the human egg drop challenge. But what exactly is an egg drop challenge? So some of you might have done the egg drop at school. It's where you get a real raw egg and some materials and you build something to keep the egg safe and then it gets dropped from height and hopefully your egg survives and we're gonna do that with Jimmy B! Or more specifically, stand in Jimmy B! Good old Humpty is going to be thrown off something really high in inventions that we've made. What a video, keep watching! Kids invent stuff so when Jimmy B challenges to build something for the human egg drop, we looked through all the inventions that kids have sent to find something suitable and we came across this beauty by nine-year-old Florence. Now this was first submitted for our escaping a tower invention challenge and if you remember we built a crossbow that fires a zip wire but when we saw Florence's invention we were really interested in it. So you can see that was a person in this sphere with these like sucky things coming off it and at the time we were really tempted to build this, but we weren't sure if I would actually survive if I was in the lovely uh, ball with all the suckers on it. However, this seems the perfect time to try it, to see would I have survived in Florence's invention idea. So we thought we have to build this. So the little suckers on this kid's toy reminded us of toilet plungers. So we had a thought was, could we bring to life Florence's invention in a way that it was like a giant one of these, but that we use toilet plungers to hopefully stop us crashing and breaking ourselves or breaking the dummy. Basically, can you survive falling from height using toilet plunger? Me and Ruth just called for an Uber and, um, and yeah. look he came, look. Look, it's, it's Jimmy B. It's his side gig, he right. drives, drives Uber. So everyone we know is gonna get toilet plungers for Christmas. 54 toilet plungers! J to the I to the double M Y to the Jimmy with the B YouTube Robo Guy. So cool. Look how organized Jimmy B is. Look at that. You child. Jimmy B has lost his mind. Whoa! <laughs> what are you doing, Sean? I'm changing the drill bits from this hole saw, which is getting full up with bits of rubber, to a forstner bit, which will make a lot more mess because it's got to cut more material away, but we won't have to keep emptying it, emptying all the old rubber out of it. So you're causing more mess, but saving time? Potentially. Yeah. So I'm drilling holes. James is measuring bamboo, and Ruth is making loud noises. First draft of Jimmy B's. Like. This is cool! <laughs> We're doing science and engineering with Jimmy B. Who said that collaborations had to be a competition? So we're gonna start assembling our sphere and we're gonna do it in two parts. Now we've got these bits of rubber with lovely holes cut into them. Uh, you can see we've already got our bottom section laid out. We've got our bamboo poles and we've got our instructions. This is the important bit. So we're gonna be building two half domes and then we're gonna join them together. Let's build a dome. Oh, it's starting to take shape. It looks like a nightmare, but it will be a dome. It doesn't look like a dome, but it's nearly a dome. This is going to be the most awkward bit of the whole thing. Closing the dome. Got it. Yes. We've got a few issues around the bottom. We're going to do some changes to these, yeah. these bits and the change at the top. If we do those changes, how, how, what height do you think it's going to survive at? Oof. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 60 meters. The 60 full, meters? Height. I'm not sure at this point. I mean, look at it. <laughs> so, we have just replaced this one because we had these ones which looked like this. 
and so we do the dome in two halves but we've decided that actually we're going to replace it with this and have the whole dome as one dome we replaced one how was that jimmy b pretty hard now they're all flexed now they're all Shut flexed here. it's really hard to get the yeah. in and out and we've got nine more of these to go it's only going to get harder what are we all doing sean we are cable tying smaller pieces of rubber on the ends of the bamboo next to the big pieces of rubber uh, so that when we come to assemble the rest of the dome join this half to the other half we haven't made yet they won't all pull apart and it'll all just like go all wobbly and horrible look these make perfect knee protectors there we go putting these in lean on my knee Ooh. so we've got rubber and cable ties on both sides we're then making sure they're tight we're then cutting them off we're putting the plungers in the middle and we're not doing this on our own we've got jimmy b helping it jimmy b. this whole thing has just appeared from six sticks and some ratchet straps it's pretty comfortable actually i think that it might get his face smashed in when it comes down it was a dome and now it's a squash dome <laughs> Tom Lamb in a frankly massive cherry picker. We scared yet, Jimmy B? Yeah. This is what you'll be using today. The Genie Lift S60, so the 60 means it goes 60 foot in the air. This is like a professional use bit of kit for like putting roofs on massive industrial buildings and stuff. You should all subscribe to Tom Lamb. Oh Follow yeah. Follow Tom Lamb. This is Jimmy B just nearly getting decapitated by a giant cherry picker. Don't do much for patrons on our channel do we <laughs> not not a lot no no we um, just really appreciate the support we do and so to show us you know appreciation we're writing every single person's name on a plunger yeah this is Thanks. alex by the way hi <laughs> alex helps on our channel she, she's not ruth or sean or jimmy b i'm not ruth sean nor jimmy b or luna and now she has a very exciting job of yeah. writing every patron's name on toilet plungers before we drop it to its death Dun, dun, dun. So because we've got 50 toilet plungers, we really wanted to sit Humpty the crash test dummy on a toilet, but it would have been too heavy. So we've gone for the next best thing, a foldable commode. What could possibly go wrong? It's a bit heavier than Jimmy. Welcome to Kids Invent Stuff, ladies and gentlemen, where dummies are dropped off very high things. Subscribe. What's your plan with yours then? Try a little one first, about a visa maybe. So just see what happens. Covid virus. Crash test dummy in a work of art. There we go. Turns out these plungers all have names. This one's Phil. We've got Max. We've got Sean. Uh, Dean, maybe. There. Yeah. genuinely look like he just had a little seat Colin Furs up there just chilling in the sky oh my word Ruth what are you what are you crafting over there just trying to lift the toilet out of the ground you're, you're trying to free the toilet from the wreckage I'm trying to free the toilet. oh it's golden hour look Colin's never looked so good with a toilet plunger in his hand as he does now so that was the first ever human egg drop. Now it's a little bit tricky because if you have a normal egg drop, your egg either is whole or is cracked. Human beings are a little bit more complicated than that, but... James Bruton has made the process simpler by creating this lovely visual display for us. So it takes the data um, that his crash test dummy collects and allows us to display it in a visual way to show which parts of Humpty the mannequin survived. Now, make sure that you go over to James's channel and you subscribe. Give Jimmy B some love. It's been so much fun working with him. And I'm sure if you love our channel, you'll love his stuff too. So, now is the time to press the button to see which parts of Humpty 
didn't survive. Now, all of the parts lit up are the parts that didn't quite make it. So, he, we have issues with the legs. His, his legs his legs weren't, weren't good. They weren't attached. Uh, we had issues with his guts. So all the kind of squidgy bits that James put in his stomach um, and sort of around where the electronics and stuff were, that all got quite squidged. He'd already lost his hand from Juby's attempt. He did keep his other arm. This bit's all good. This bit's all good. <laughs> his face was was mashed and it did uh, experience a, a lot of Gs. He, yes. Uh, so yes. The bottom of his jaw fell off, which isn't a good sign. No. So all in all, we, if we, he was an egg... He would have probably been smashed. Been a bit smashed. Yeah, we think he would have smashed. So, unfortunately, our egg did not survive. <laughs> but we have learned a lot from the process. So, we borrowed a lot from a design from a guy called Michael Felix, who'd created this geodome design that really simply used bits of rubber. And we took that, and then we kind of doubled up the dome so we could put two domes together and make a geosphere. I feel we should point out his design was not designed to be dropped from a 60-foot cherry picker. <laughs> his design was to, like, put in your garden to grow things under. Uh, so, yeah, already we were making it a little bit more extreme. We made it a lot more difficult than it needed to be. So we kind of repurposed that design, and as a dome, it worked pretty well. Um, but we found very quickly that when, <laughs> when we dropped it, it was really obvious what had happened. Basically, all of these kind of bamboo places that we'd attached with rubber and a cable tie had sort of pulled out. Um, so the whole dome basically... We only broke one bit of bamboo. We, we snapped one piece of bamboo. That's incredible, right? But the main thing that failed was, um, yeah, was these, basically the poles pulling out where we put our cable ties on. Um, so we learned a lot from that. We'd never built a geodome before. But we do have a solution now yeah, that we didn't have before. Inventing is all about the journey. It's not about the destination. It's about learning stuff. Things will go wrong, and it's about learning from it. So we thought we'd share with you already some of the things we've learned. So this is what we should have done. So instead of cable ties, these are Jubilee clips. They're like metal versions of cable ties. Um, and these are so, grab, so grab solid. End. Like... They Basically, weren't going to come off. That isn't going to slide up like it happened when we dropped our geodome. So that would have been the solution. Um, and we did sort of ponder it when we were building the dome. Yeah, we had a lot of conversations around this. The slight issue being that if we were to use this method, it would have cost about another £200 for all the Jubilee clips that we needed. So we decided to gamble and have a go at using um, the, the cable ties instead. They weren't up to scratch. Um, so. This is a good place for us to plug our Patreon. So yeah, <laughs> we, we obviously need resources to build these things and sometimes we have to make decisions because we don't have the money to build something the way we would like to. So sometimes we have to just make do with what fits within budget and this was a perfect example of that. <laughs> so if you want to help us build, we always say help us build bigger and better things. This is a prime example of that. Uh, we'll put a link to our Patreon. We do really, really appreciate our Patreons. We wrote everyone's name on a toilet plunger. <laughs> Because without your help, we couldn't build the things that we do. So if you are a patron, thank you. If you want to become one, thank you too. And if you know of any kids who might like their invention ideas brought to life, or who might have better and bigger ideas for ways to drop a crash test dummy so that it does actually survive and not crack like an egg, then you can send them to our website, which will appear on the screen below. We would love to do this again. Um, I am obsessed with driving cherry pickers now. That was lots of fun. It's, Ruth's new special uh, interest. it's my new special interest. Um, so we would love to do this again. Jimmy B is already talking about things that we could do with it. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas, get them sent in. Send us my ideas, check out James's channel, and we will see you next time. Bye.